Hello traders, so this is the third part of the ADO wave uh, pattern, okay? This is the third part. If you haven't watched the first part, try to watch the first part, the second part, and the third part, okay? So, because in the first part, I was explaining the ADO wave pattern, okay? In the second part also, I talked about the correction pattern. And this is the third part now. As you can see, this resistance level here is now broken after the completion of the earlier wave pattern and the correction so the price should continue its movement to the upside if there is no more uh, bearish momentum that will stop it okay so this is a uh, one thing you need to look for okay very important because the professional always looking for the earlier wave pattern okay and like i said to you before the best way to see or to recognize that quickly when you see the triple falling bottom like this try to count the waves okay because a lot of people find it difficult to locate the wave and the best way to locate the waves is when you see a triple falling bottom okay in the downtrend or a triple rising top in the uptrend that's how you will know that you are dealing with earlier wave okay the first wave started from here it came all the way down okay push back up the second wave right here okay and then the third wave came all the way here and then the fourth wave came all the way here and the fifth wave came here okay after the fifth wave of the earlier wave you should have a correction of a b c okay this is a and this is b and this is c and this the whole cycle plus the correction is completed okay so you draw your horizontal line at this resistance level here okay exactly here and you wait to see if the price will break above it and it did right here it did okay it did break this uh, resistance level so the price uh, has a, a high probability to continue the movement to the upside okay but as usual the professional will always respect the resistance level okay that's why i said to you, you have to know where you should take your profit so if you are in this trade because we enter this trade right here at the triple bottom the third bottom here so that's a lot of pips so far uh, you can take profit here and then uh, enter again and then if you come to this level resistance level you take your profit at each resistance level okay instead of waiting for the price to pull back completely and take uh, so we have a resistance level here another resistance level here okay okay and another resistance level here so the price will try to respect those uh, resistance level okay so when you are trading don't just uh, sit there and watch your profit being wiped away again or the price turn around because nothing is guaranteed that the price will continue the movement by all means okay so you try to take your profit at uh, key levels okay so at least uh, you are making some profit okay in case you lose that will compensate for your losses okay because if you are sitting down and you are working you should be rewarded also okay not that you sit down and then uh, you losing and then when you have profit you sit there again and they wipe your profit away okay till you take your profit is not your profit okay you have to take it then it's yours you know that you bank it okay so that's how you do your day trading okay step by step you are not after making a big money in one go when you are day trading but you want to make consistent winning trade okay and then the, that's how you do it so when you have losses those winning trade will compensate them okay so your your initial capital will remain the same okay so this is a very good place a higher uh, reward risk ratio here so if you enter here uh, i'll try to see uh, bear with me please uh, so if you enter this level here at uh, 13479 13479 now we are now at 13 uh, uh, 501 okay that's uh, 20 pips so far it went above that even so more than uh, uh, 27 pips so far in this trade okay that's excellent because you enter here with a very tiny stop right here which is a very the, the third bottom okay so that's how you so look out for this particular pattern uh, because that's what the professional are using okay so try to remember that if you want to know more about earlier wave you can read a lot on it on the internet maybe you can watch other videos also on the youtube about earlier wave 
and then you compare them to this maybe you learn something also from other uh, traders who put their information on the youtube okay uh, if you want to become a professional trader or improve your winning rate you have to be able to understand the earlier wave because this is one of the patterns that the professional are consistently using and uh, they will react to that at every time frame okay this is valid on the one minute chart two minute chart three minute chart five minute chart 15 minute chart one hour daily weekly monthly earlier wave is in the market okay so this is a very very powerful uh, pattern uh, you must learn it and understand it and uh, there is a combination of this pattern and the fibonacci retracement also okay so if you learn all this carefully and you practice them you can sit in front of your computer just watching the patterns okay and once you locate your pattern you enter your trade okay that's what the professional are doing they say they have a system some of the professional their system is just earlier wave okay they count wave from the morning to the evening okay that's what they are doing and the swing traders also are counting the wave because the market uh, always respect this uh, most in most cases we respect these waves okay so you see now this is three minute chart of the euro usd and still people respect this wave okay first wave second wave third wave fourth wave fifth wave okay they bought it right in the here and they know that there will be a correction they see this is the a b c okay this resistance line is broken now okay but because it's a friday afternoon and we don't have enough volume to kick the price quickly if this was really a busy time you will see the price running fast from here okay so i hope you enjoyed this video also and you learn something from it so i'll leave it here so you keep watching it uh, and then um, uh, try to practice that maybe you can go to your uh, intraday during the weekend to see okay on every time frame whether you can yourself practice to see if you can recognize them quickly so what you are looking for you are looking for a triple falling bottom okay or a triple rising top okay then you know that you are in the in the situation of earlier wave and in some cases you can predict also the movement of the price from here we were expecting from this level here we were expecting the price to do a b c pattern and it did it exactly you see it did it exactly did that okay so that's how if you are looking for a holy grade or a leading indicator earlier week is one of them okay it will help you to enter high probability trade with a very very limited uh, risk and a, and, a, and a reward or risk ratio is quite high okay so enjoy this video and please please practice it okay practice it okay don't just jump into it sometimes it will work sometimes it will not work but in most cases it will work okay because the professional are busy looking for this pattern because they know that this is a very very reliable pattern okay they know that the market move in five wave plus three correction so you remember that okay five wave and a b c correction they will tell you this all the time okay all the best uh, professional traders that are opening a live trading room this is what they are looking for okay so when people sit with them in their live trading room the professional sometimes they don't mention this but this is what they are looking for okay and once they locate it they will say okay i'm entering the trade here long position okay but from here to here you think you are in a downtrend okay but this is what i call a leading indicator even though they are in a downtrend they know that that downtrend is finished right here so they enter the trade and the new beginners will think that why this person is entering a low position in a downtrend which is a bit confusing for them and surprisingly they will be surprised that the price starts moving up like they predicted and once they enter here and the price display the a b here they will buy again here so they have two positions that is open for them nicely here okay and they will close one here and let the other one run okay so the, your position that you open here you will close one here you enter another position here so you have two positions running nicely for you and then maybe you let this one run okay in case you want to come back here you just close your position and walk away okay i hope you learned something from this video and until next time enjoy yourself and be very very happy Thank you.